Hey there, Michael Church with CrawlspaceNinja.com, and if you're like most homeowners, you're probably on the fence about whether you should invest in crawlspace encapsulation. Well, just so you know, I'm going to give you five reasons why you should consider crawlspace encapsulation to make sure your crawlspace is dry, clean, healthy, and efficient. Just so you know, there's a lot more information that I may not cover in this video, so down below in the comments section, we've given you a link to get to our website so that you can download that blog that gives a lot more information about why you should invest in crawlspace encapsulation. Okay, now I'm going to assume that whoever you hire to do the crawlspace encapsulation knows what they're doing. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of misinformation out there about how to properly do crawlspace encapsulation. We do what's called a hybrid crawlspace encapsulation where we control humidity while properly ventilating. Most crawlspace encapsulation companies only control humidity or they only ventilate. We do both. Why? Because it's required by code and recommended by the Environmental Protection Agency to ensure that you don't have soil gas buildup, like radon, in your crawl space. Okay, so reason number one to invest in crawl space encapsulation is to keep bugs out of the crawl space. Why is it important to keep bugs out of the crawl space? Well, a lot of these bugs are termites and carpenter ants that can destroy the foundation of the house. And then you got annoying bugs like silverfish and cockroaches and different things like that and those big camelback crickets. Some people call them cave crickets where they go in and there's like their poop all over the the joist and people think it's mold when it's actually camelback cricket poop. So anyway, investing in crawl space encapsulation is going to dry up the crawl space. Bugs love moist, damp crawl spaces. So drying up the crawl space is a benefit of encapsulation, which will drive out those bugs and therefore protect the foundation of your house. Okay, reason number two to invest in crawl space encapsulation is to keep those mammals and reptiles out, like possums and raccoons and snakes and rats and all of their feces and the smells and the bacteria and all that sort of thing. I mean, you can hear them down there sometimes just like rooting around in the insulation and creating like a, a place for them to live and all that. So you got all this fiberglass. I've been in crawl spaces where there was huge possums nesting up in the fiberglass insulation. There's poop everywhere on the plastic and all that stuff just comes up into your house and gets sucked into the ductwork. So if you invest in crawl space encapsulation, especially the way the crawl space ninjas do it, it'll be a deterrent for animals and mammals and reptiles. Who wants snakes in their crawl space? Now I like catching snakes. I'll be honest with you. They're, they're kind of cool to catch as long as they're not poisonous. If they're copperhead or a cottonmouth or something like that, I'm not going to catch them. But rat snakes, black snakes, those are kind of cool. But you may not want those in your house, right? Because if they can get into the crawl space, if there's a way for them to get up into the house, they're going to find it. So reason number two to invest in crawl space encapsulation is to keep all those animals out of the crawl space. Okay, the number three reason to invest in crawl space encapsulation is to control humidity. And believe it or not, high humidity grows and spawns dust mites out of control. Dust mites are the number one cause of asthma among children. If you control humidity, you control dust mites. Did you know there's over two million dust mites living in your mattress? Just think about it. Whenever you go to bed at night, you wake up stuffy and your allergies are kicking and all that kind of stuff and you're like, man, what happened? Well, what happened was you got into the bed and you flipped the covers back and as you were getting all settled in, all these dust mites were falling down on your face. You're breathing in all that stuff all night long. So if you control humidity in the crawl space by properly encapsulating it, you're going to control dust mites because dust mites need high humidity to thrive. Okay, reason number four to encapsulate your crawl space properly is to control mold. Okay, so if you've got standing water coming into the crawl space mixed with high humidity, that can lead to mold problems. Not every crawl space has uh, foundation problems and standing water come in, but most of them in East Tennessee and Kentucky and Georgia and, and all of the Southeast have high humidity problems because they're vented. They allow high humidity to come in and that creates a mold problem. So what you gotta do is you gotta control the humidity in order to control the mold. And the other thing that can happen is if you have high humidity in the crawl space and you have hardwood flooring, it can begin to cup, okay? That's not normal. You should have, the flooring should be level. 
So if you got cupping going on inside your house, it's probably because humidity is being absorbed through the subfloor. Most likely that subfloor may have some mold on it and it's affecting the hardwood at the same time. So get down there and take a look and see if you got any mold or anything like that growing on the joist and call somebody out there to do a crawl space inspection to see if you need crawl space encapsulation. Okay, the fifth reason to invest in crawl space encapsulation is because it makes your home more energy efficient. Everybody's trying to go green and save money and all this kind of stuff, but the crawl space is often overlooked as one of those places that should be properly insulated. Plus, again, controlling humidity is another way to save money because whenever you're controlling humidity, the temperature in the summer actually feels cooler. The AC runs less because your body feels cooler without that high humidity inside the house. If you control the humidity in the crawl space, it'll lead to a better energy efficient home and also make sure you properly insulate it too because a lot of crawl space companies, they say that the vapor barrier is the insulation. Not true. You need to insulate the walls and even think about insulating the rim joists in order to stop drafts inside the house and to make the home more energy efficient. Okay, just a couple of final thoughts on why you should uh, encapsulate the crawl space. As I said before, check out the link below in the, uh, in the comments section to read the rest of this blog. There's a lot more information in there that you might enjoy. But investing in crawl space encapsulation should be done by a reputable company. We now have service areas from London, Kentucky to Asheville, North Carolina to Cookville, Tennessee, all the way down to Chattanooga and everywhere in between in East Tennessee. So if you need help with crawl space encapsulation, uh, make sure you check out our website and check out the specials we're running this month. So just give us a call or contact us through our website if you need a free assessment. And thanks again for watching. I hope you like this video down below and let me know if you have any questions and I hope you make it a happy and blessed day and thanks for watching. Remember, if you control humidity, you control dust mites. Did you know there's more than 2 million dust mites living in your pillow? Isn't that dis... Wait, is that right? It's a mattress. Seems like a lot of dust yeah, mites. Yeah, mattress. Remember, if you control dust mites, you control humidity. Wait a minute. That's backwards. <laughs> 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 <Woo>. All right. <laughs>